all right friends welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel 9 and view 3 application and in this video i will be sharing one important thing regarding validation so here we have added the validation while adding a new user as well as while editing a specific user right and this validation is called client side validation and we are validating this form and if i enter just uh, four characters password and click on save then it is saying uh, password must be of at least eight characters and we are unable to save this form right which is great but still we should not rely on just client side validation because we can easily bypass it though client side validations provide a greater user experience and it also saves some request to the server but we should never forget to add server side validation so first of all let me show you how we can bypass uh, this client side validation and then we will later add server side validation using laravel so let me open up vs code okay so let me do control shift p and let me open up one extension called thunder client so it is similar to a postman uh, but it is a visual studio code extension so here i have created this endpoint and we are submitting the post request to this endpoint that we have uh, in our web.psp file right and for this form here we have name email and password and remember the password is just of four characters but on our client side validation we have added that password should be of at least eight characters now if i uh, hit send then it is saying that page expired right and which is great because laravel is protecting us uh, to submit this form directly without having a csrf token right because we have also added this route inside of web.psp so while submitting the form it should have a csrf token so for now uh, for this demo purpose i have created one endpoint called csrf that just written the csrf token so let me get that token and here i have this token uh, let me go to headers and let me add x csrf token let me enter that token and then let me uh, change this to post request and let me change this to api slash users and let me press let me go to body first and here we have just four characters and if i hit send and the data got saved to our database because we just bypassed that client side validation right so to prevent this we must add a server side validation as well so let me go to uh, user controller over here and uh, let me go to the store uh, method and over here let me uncomment this line that password should be required and it should be of minimum eight characters and over here let me add the validation for name as well and it should be required now let me go to thunder client over here and let me change this email to john at example.com instead of gmail.com we have still four characters right and if i send the request and here this is still loading let me cancel this request let me go to headers and let's click on accept application slash json and let me click on send now it is saying that email has already been taken and then password must be of at least eight characters right and we are preventing this to get submitted and let me change this to example one let me send again and now it is saying that password must be of at least eight characters now if i enter the password of eight characters and press send and the data got saved to our database which is perfect so now let me go to user controller and let me add the validation on update as well so here name should be required and password should be And password is optional uh, while editing so let me add sometimes as a validation rule and it should be of at least eight characters minimum eight and that's fine let me go to web.psp file and we should never expose this route i was just adding that for testing purpose so you must remove this route so never expose this route and that's fine so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one